Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz lands in New Delhi after postponing his visit twice before. He is scheduled to meet Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Indian counterpart Rajnath Singh. During the visit, both sides will sign a document aimed at deepening security relations and marking 30 years of diplomatic and defense ties between Israel and India. The Israeli Defense Minister will be accompanied by the country's Chief of Staff, Man Israeli, ahead of the Directorate for International Defense Cooperation, Brigadier General Yaikulas, Director of Policy and Political Military Bureau, Dror Shalom, and Military Secretary B.G. Yakidorf. Gans will begin his day by paying homage to National War Memorial in New Delhi. He will then hold talks with Rajnath Singh and will be given guard of honor. At around 5 p.m. Indian Standard Time, Gans will meet Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The Israeli Defense Minister was scheduled to visit New Delhi in March this year. However, his visit was postponed after he contracted COVID and in the backdrop of terror attacks in Israel that left dozens dead. Gantz's visit comes amid celebrations marking 30 years of establishing of diplomatic ties between both nations. India and Israel established full diplomatic relations on the 29th of January 1992. Earlier this year, a commemorative logo was launched to mark three decades of ties as well. In February, iconic buildings in India and Israel, including the gateway of India in Mumbai and Teen Murthy Haifa Chowk in Delhi and the Masada Fortress in Israel were lit up in Indian and Israeli colors. Now for more insight on this, our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibbal has sent us this report. Let's listen in. Well, important day today. The Israeli Defense Minister is here in Delhi and uh, he has two important engagements. Uh, first, of course, uh, meeting with uh, the Indian Defense Minister at around 10 a.m. Indian Standard Time and then, of course, calling on with the Indian Prime Minister at 5 p.m. Uh, uh, meeting uh, of uh, the Israeli Defense Minister and the Indian Prime Minister is uh, very interesting given that it is very rare for a visiting Defense Minister to call on the Indian Prime Minister. Now we know the usual protocol day begins with he paying homage at the National War Memorial and then of course uh, receiving the Guard of Honor. But uh, two important things to note when it comes to this visit. First, of course, uh, this visit comes at a time there has been increased defense engagement between the two countries. Last year saw the visit of the then Indian Army Chief and uh, the Indian Air Force uh, uh, chief going to Israel. The Indian Air Force participated in the Israeli exercises as well last year and uh, Indian Navy ships have been to Israeli ports uh, uh, and defense has emerged as an important pillar of this relationship. Second, of course, uh, the celebration of 30 years of relationship. Uh, it was the year 1992 that both countries formally established uh, a relationship and since then it hasn't been uh, uh, something that has been essentially uh, a celebration of the relationship. There has been no looking back. Uh, we know the Indian Prime Minister was in Israel in 2017, followed by the visit of uh, the Israeli leader Benjamin Netanyahu. We know that the current uh, Prime Minister of uh, Israel was expected to visit the country uh, here in India earlier this year, but because of the political crisis uh, at home and of course the COVID uh, crisis, um, he was uh, confirmed with COVID. Uh, we have seen that that visit uh, getting delayed. But today, of course, uh, we will see a lot of engagements, including signing of a key crucial security pact as well. Sudhan so Sibul for Vion in New Delhi. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.